Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys and first of all guys before we even get started remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share across all social media platforms and press that notification button so you'll be the first to watch anything that comes out on Red United TV's YouTube channel and of course if you want to contribute to the channel you can always contribute via the link description via PayPal or join us on a live stream to send your super chat but enough 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 is enough guys it is Southampton new Manchester United one Manchester United picking up another three points baby yes yes and a brilliant goal from Bruno Fernandes to end the game one Manchester United won. Manchester United finally, again, as I said before, winning their first away game in the last seven because we have had our ass whooped in the last seven away games. We've been battered and bruised, but today we've learned a lesson. Obviously, it wasn't the same performance as you expected against against Liverpool, but still, it was all about the three points. That's what really was important today. Can Manchester United get the three points after Liverpool? And Manchester United did back-to-back -back victories, and it's lovely. Ten Hag is happy with the result. Of course, the performance as well. You can always criticise a couple of things that we saw in the game. But most importantly, we got the win on a bank holiday, so we can enjoy the rest of our day. Overall, guys, in terms of the first half and the second half, which I thought the first half... I noticed that the energy wasn't there when compared to the game against Liverpool. The guys wasn't pressing, being as strong as they were, fighting for everything. But of course, when you're playing against Southampton away and Saints, it's always going to be a difficult game. Second half was even slightly better to get that winning goal as well. I was happy with that. I cannot complain because I would have taken a 1-0 win. You would have taken a 1-0 win any day of the day against Southampton away at St. Mary Stadium. So the guys did extremely well to get the points. Cashmere making his debut. Happy. Love to see it. Glad to see it as well. I'm so happy with that as well. If you look at the game as well, in the first half again, back again, I was I was saying Manchester United in that first 45 minutes, of course had the opportunity to test the goalkeeper Three times, so and Southampton keeper did well to repel the ball on three occasions. Alanga, Eriksen, Fernandez had up shots, in it, but on multiple occasions, the Southampton keeper did really well. Then the goal came, Bruno Fernandez in that second half. Yes, because we thought in the second half the guys need to get straight into it and get that goal that we need to do. Wonderful play by Dalo, lovely cross by Diego Dalo to find. The captain Bruno Fernandes to finish it, in, to finish it, in. and it was a difficult finish as well. R Rashford making the lovely run to divert attention to get Bruno free, beautiful as well. And it was one nil, and from there, huh, I loved it because I was chanting, guys, back to back wins. I'm so happy. Although the game ended one nil full time. It was just about the joint effort from everyone as a collective towards the end of the game because Southampton was pressing and they were trying to go for that equalizer. They even had a VAR situation with McTominay where there was a potential handball, but come on, why would you give that a handball? That ball was so close to him and Armstrong. All, all, both players handled the ball. So what are you going to do when when a your McTominay handballs the ball and the opposition player handballs the ball? Like, at the end of the day, during the whole play, so you can't give it. And it, the, rightly so, it was given that it was not a penalty, and it continued. But at full time, I'm happy, guys. In terms of players-wise, Bruno Fernandes did what he had to do today to get that goal in. And I have to say, Martinez. You guys want to talk about Martinez. My defender. Oh, he's going to have problems in the air. 100% aerial duel won today by Lissandro Martinez. Martinez, man of the match performance today. And I want to know, guys, who was your man of the match and who was your donkey of the match. But Martinez did well with Varane at the back. The same start in 11. Midfield, Scott McTominay surprised me today. Had a great match. Ericsson as well. And of course, Bruno did well. Dude, the free forward could have done at least better. Sancho as well and Rashford and Elango. But again, I will take a 1-0 win any day of the week. Hit me. Ronaldo coming on. Cashmero making his debut. Did all right. Four as well. But here's what it is. Man of the match today, guys. I'm going to have to give it to the butcher. Lissandro Martinez. Yes, a tremendous win. 
He's just physical, strong, and everything that we need in a defender. He makes Lindelof look like Vindelof. Lindelof soft. And the fridge look like sh The fridge. Exactly so. He looked... And I will never be... I don't think we'll be seeing Maguire anytime soon unless it's the Carabao Cup or the Europa League playing against a, a lesser side. Because I don't want to see them. Varane and Martinez are immense in defence. Dalo did well as well, guys. I'm happy about that. But Martinez, my man in the match. Don't give the match. I'm going to have to give it to Antti Alenga, who wasn't that impressive. Although I feel like it's unfair to give anyone talking of the match. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Manchester United fans, we take it one game at a time. Six points so far in four games. We climbed up to sixth position right now until the rest of the team plays. I'll take that right now. Manchester United have improved in the league position. We'll take that. In terms of performance, we still need to improve. We still need to sign those players at the end of the day. So, again, next game, I believe it's Arsenal. What can we do against Arsenal? Let's just see. But, uh, uh, but again, Manchester United fans, I want to know who was your man in the match, who was your donkey in the match, and your thoughts in the comments as well. As always, remember to subscribe to Red United TV, smash the like button as well, share across all social media platforms, and also press the notification bell. Tune in on Monday for the catch-up volume 17, 8, where we'll be discussing this game Monday at 8 p.m. UK time. And last but not least, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. I am out. Peace.